Okay guys, welcome back to your daily Helldivers news update. Today we're going to be talking all about the Cutting Edge War Bond update, which is going to be happening on the 14th of March. I am so, so excited for this because uh, we're going to see a whole bunch of new weapons added into the game. And in today's video, we're going to be talking all about, about like release times and all different things like that, as Polygon have just released a brand new post. And also something from the CEO on talk about the friendly fire and why it's on in the game. And this was in a a new interview with PlayStation Blog. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and get all the news you need to know, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you want daily Helldivers news, and let's get in with today's video. So the biggest question everyone is asking um, is what time does the Helldivers 2 Cutting Edge Warbond release? And um, here's an update on when you can play with a bunch of new toys in the war for Super Earth. So the Cutting Edge Warbond is the first new Warbond coming to Helldivers 2 post-release. It's also the second premium Warbond, meaning it costs extra money after the Steeled Veterans one that launches alongside the game back in February. Cutting Edge will net you some new cosmetics to outfit your Helldiver and most importantly some new weapons for you to use in your fight to save Super Earth. If you're looking for new stratagems you won't find any here but you know there's going to be a whole load added into the game in the future. Um, so um, Cutting Edge Warbond release time, when does the new update launch? So the Cutting Edge Warbond for Helldivers 2 will launch Thursday the 14th of March. Um, in this it says it's currently un unclear what time the update will go live but though based on release times for previous Helldivers 2 updates we can make a reasonably educated guess. Helldivers 2 itself launched at 4am EST on February 8th and most patches seem to appear within an hour or two of that same window. Assuming the cutting and, and I've noticed that as well like literally within every single Helldivers patch is always around the same time. Usually it's at 10am UK time is when I tend to see the patches. Um, so if you want to type that in um, uh, for like just type in 10 a.m. UK time to whatever time zone you're in, that will give you a good idea. Um, assuming the Cutting Edge Warbond releases around uh, around um, Arrowhead's usual update time, here's approximately when you can expect to appear in your time zone. So 2 a.m. PDT for West Coast of North America, 5 a.m. EDT for East Coast of North America, 9 a.m. GMT for the UK, which for me, I think always potentially add an hour onto this as I said because 10 a.m. is usually the time that I've been noticing recently the updates have been going live 10 a.m. CET for Western Europe slash Paris uh, and 6 p.m. JST for Tokyo so um, I will be keeping you guys up to date um, if anything changes with the average time um, for the cutting edge warbond um, there's going to be a whole bunch of videos I'm doing as soon as the new items go live I'm going to be testing them out out for you all of that stuff um so i hope you guys enjoy that so how much does the cutting edge warbond cost in helldivers 2 so arrowhead games and sony haven't announced how much the the um warbond will cost however the steeled veterans warbond ran players 1000 super credits or 9.99 in february the steeled veterans warbond offers the same number of weapons and most val and, and the, the same amount of items um in the warbond as the cutting edge will so it's pr uh, pretty safe to say to assume that it will also run you 10 bucks on the 14th um just remember that war bonds do not automatically grant you rewards like a battle pass track in fortnite or destiny 2 you're paying for the right to unlock the items for the war bond as you play uh, medals and purchase new goodies you want the most if you play long enough you'll eventually be able to unlock everything in the cutting edge war bond and unlike season pass in some other live service games war bonds will never go away in hell divers 2 and that has been completely confirmed now, as a reminder, um, we've got the last 16 sickle. It's a brand new rifle that shoots lasers in bursts. Um and uh, you won't need to reload it just make sure it doesn't overheat we have the sg 8p punisher plasma it's a plasma shotgun that shoots plasma instead of bullets while described as a shotgun it appears to fire more like a grenade launcher the arc 12 blitzer is a shotgun that shoots lightning at targets and uh, apparently it appears to be able to um, connect just like the wonder waffle from call of duty zombies um, and the last seven dagger is a laser pistol which isn't very fancy when compared to the other items on the list but hey it's a pistol that shoots as a 
sustained laser. There are three new armor sets coming um, within this as well, which is the X, uh, the EX03 Prototype 3, the EX00 Prototype X, and the EX16 Prototype 16. And the, and the grenade is a stun grenade called the G23. So really looking forward to all of this launching on the 14th, guys. I can't wait to have so much fun. Um, as I said, I'll be purchasing it straight away um, in the, uh, uh, we'll see, I'll be purchasing it straight away from the Battle Pass and I'll be testing out some of the new weapons for you guys um, as soon as I start to unlock them. I'm hoping I'll be able to get them up as soon as possible. Uh, all alarms are set and I'm ready for the patch on the day. Lots of videos planned. I've just, I've just been having so much fun on this game recently. So the next thing we're talking about is why Friendly Fire is always on according to the Helldivers 2 devs. Um, so pretty much in March 12th today, the interview with PlayStation blog, Johan, the CEO and the creative director Arrowhead said that when making games, um, the most important thing for the studio is believability and friendly fire is a big part of that philosophy. Things should be consistent in a game um, world and therefore we must have friendly fire, said Johan. If your bullets can kill enemies and, and the enemies can kill you, then logic dictates that your bullets must also be able to kill your friends. So this was in the most recent Helldivers uh, CEO update um, with PlayStation blog as they talk about what's going on for the game. And uh, yeah, Johan is always so honest about things, always so upfront with, um, you know, what what's going to be happening with the game, the, the reason for changes, the reason things happen. And I think that's just the best thing ever. I feel like what, one of the most important things that I've noticed since I've covered content for Helldivers 2, um, guys, I've been covering content on uh, mainly survival games, but, um, you know, for the last eight years and uh, always sort of uh, being up to date with the dev teams and stuff and the an arrowhead gate uh, game studios i'm telling you have just really sort of like blown me away a bit with how amazing their dev support has been yes there has been some moderators that have uh, been in trouble recently um and they, they obviously they didn't mean to go too far with it but they are so good at communicating with us i can't even explain to you um i've said this in older videos before i've experienced some awful 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 times Times with other um, dev comp well other devs in certain game companies, as I said in other videos, not naming names. Um, but when it comes to communication, it's one of the most important things. And I'm so glad to be creating content for a game that one I have just had so much fun with every single day since launch, and two um, just uh, for amazing community because uh, some of you guys have been showing so much support to the channel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's update. I am can't wait for the 14th to see all of you guys and we can have a lot of fun um, and create content. So catch you guys in that video. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you when, well, the next Helldivers video. I'm doing them daily, but I can't wait. The 14th is going to be the big day.